Hello and welcome back. I'm pretty excited to walk you through an end-to-end -end use case and a tutorial on developing a chatbot powered by Amazon Bedrock and Titan. So what we're going to build is a chatbot that can answer questions related to the most recent Academy Awards that concluded in March 2023. So obviously, most of the LLMs don't have the knowledge of the recent events, so they tend to hallucinate or give you wrong answers. So the technique that we're going to use to build this chatbot is called RAG, the Retrieval Augmented Generation, where we feed the LLM with the right context to ensure it has all the facts before it answers your query. So uh, here is what we're going to build. So this is a Gradio chat application. For example, I can now ask who won the best music award and it is going to come back to us with the response. Now, this is very specific to the 2023 Oscar awards. And there we go. It says M.M. Kiravani. Similarly, you can say which was the best international feature film and it's going to respond with the exact answer. So who is the lyricist for the song Not To Not To from RRR? So if you don't use RAG, there are chances that the chatbot will tend to hallucinate and may give you wrong answers very confidently. So our goal is to feed this with the right context. So in this demo, uh, this is a three-part demo. In part one, we are going to initialize the vector database, which is based on Amazon Open Search serverless vector database. Part two is ingesting the data so we will load the Oscar 2023 data set into a Pandas data frame. And from there, we'll clean it a little bit, pre-process it a little bit, and then we'll ingest that into the open search vector database. That is part two. Part three is where we connect the dots between the vector database, the prompt engineering, and the LLM to get back the response that we are looking at. And the source code and the notebook, uh, all the notebooks related uh, to this demo are going to be uploaded to my GitHub repo and I'm going to share the link in the comments. So let's get started. The data set that I'm going to use is available on Kaggle. We'll come back to that later, but everything that I'm showing you here <clears throat> is freely available. It can be downloaded and uh, it is available uh, on my GitHub repo as well. So let's get started with the first part. So the first part, as I mentioned, is provisioning the, uh, the, the open search serverless database. So here we are. Uh, to save time, I have already gone ahead and created a collection called Oscars Collection. But creating this is not just clicking a few buttons. Uh, it is very involving. And I have chosen to do this via the API. So let me walk you through these steps. So obviously the first step is we're going to import the open search Python client, Bodo3 and uh, JSON, which are basically the modules responsible for interacting with these services. And then we will initialize the client for the Amazon open search serverless endpoint. So here you actually see that I'm creating the Bodo config with the region targeted to US West 2. Uh, and then we are creating a client for open search serverless. So this is going to help us create all the uh, configuration uh, to initialize the vector database. So then we need to define the encryption policy. So here I am basically creating an encry encryption policy that says AWS own key is true. Uh, what this basically does is it leaves the defaults and let Amazon manage the key meant for encryption. So that is the next step. Then you got to create a network policy. So network policy could be based on two things. Uh, one is you can uh, create it as a private link within the VPC endpoint, or you could allow the access from public. So in this case, I'm configuring this to be accessible from the public internet. So hello from pub public is set to true. So which means we can access this collection uh, from the public endpoint via the public endpoint instead of using it through the VPC. 
So we define the network policy and then we define the data access policy. Uh, this is again an IAM policy that specifically uh, restricts the collection to a specific user. So you got to replace this with your own uh, IAM uh, uh, principle based on your uh, IAM policies. But this is very important. If you don't configure this properly, you will not have access to the uh, collection and the index. So once we have defined all of this, then you can go ahead and create the collection. So I'm creating a collection called Oscars collection uh, and we are setting the type to vector search. Now, this could be uh, other types as well, like time series, but this is important to configure uh, to be configured as vector search because we're going to store the embeddings. So we create the collection and then we initialize and configure the open search client. Uh, open search client doesn't have a clue that it is actually talking to uh, Amazon's open search serverless. It is a client that is available uh, from open, so open search organization, the uh, foundation responsible for maintaining the open source flavor of Elasticsearch. So uh, we are configuring that to point to the Amazon endpoint uh, that we just created with all the policies in place. So once the open search client is initialized and configured, we go ahead and create an index. So an index is the most important element. So collection is like the database and an index is like the table. Now, this is where you actually define the fields and the algorithm responsible for semantic search. So we are creating two properties. One is called the nominee text, which will hold the text responsible for the nomination from the Oscars. Then we also create a property, which is called as the nominee vector. And this is responsible for holding the word embeddings generated from the Titan embeddings model. Now, this is the numerical or the vector representation of the same text. And here we define that we are using the K nearest neighbor algorithm. Uh, so this is based on the KNN vector. The engine is NMS lib. Uh, the space and the distance type is cosine similarity and other parameters. You don't need to worry too much about this. These are basically influencing the way the semantic or the similarity search is performed by open search, uh, open search serverless uh, database, vector database. So we define that and then we also define the number of shards, the KNN uh, algorithm parameters, uh, KNN is true. So this basically creates our so-called table within the database, which is the collection. And uh, ultimately we are going to populate this with uh, multiple entries that represent the text and the corresponding embeddings in the form of a vector. So we go ahead and create this. Uh, I'm not going to do that. It's going to take a while, but we can verify whether this index is created. Uh, how? By going back to the console and taking a look at it. So what we have essentially done here is we, are, we have created a collection. Uh, you can also attempt it from the console. So there are three mechanisms or three collection types. So one is time series, one is full text search, the other one is vector search. And then you can choose easy create um, and you can click on next. And in a couple of clicks, you can also create this, but I chose to use a notebook for completeness and for better control. So uh, now what we ended up uh, doing is to create the collection and the index responsible for uh, responsible for holding the word embeddings and the textual data associated with the word embedding. So when we perform a search, we get back all the relevant answers. So that's the first part. Now in the second part, we'll actually convert our uh, Oscar nominations into word embeddings and ingest them into the vector database. Stay tuned.